This is High Stakes from Gerard Phillips, Kate and Hancock. This week, we've got three big stories. First, Amazon founder to give most of his money to charity. How much? Somewhere in the neighborhood of $124 billion. And then there's this. Amazon launches Amazon Clinic. It promises basic healthcare with a few clicks and low costs. And then finally, this. Amazon has begun laying off employees. That's some 10,000 employees right on the front end of the holidays. So what do these headlines mean for you? It's easy to jab at Amazon, a brand that is as omnipresent as turkeys at Thanksgiving and online sales on Black Friday. It's a prime target, if you will. Love them or hate them, Amazon is a sprawling, complex company rife with prominent leaders, disparate initiatives, investments, plans, problems, things that work, things that don't, with all those discordant messages playing out on the public stage, on the regular. Does that sound familiar? Let's just think about it for a minute. Can you imagine being part of a large organization with a well-known brand powered by a mysterious, expensive economic system that generates a lot of money? That is making difficult calls in one place, say closing a service or reducing staff, while cutting ribbons on a new wing and recruiting heavily in another area? What about having a leadership team whose compensation requires a defense every year when the 990s are released? Or a healthy foundation whose endowments need contextual explanation while negotiating incremental staff pay adjustments? Maybe sounding a little bit more familiar? Yeah. What we're talking about here is the art of whiplash. One of the greatest skill sets for healthcare leaders today is the art of whiplash communications, mastering the unsatisfying dance of mixed messages. It's normal course now, as healthcare providers big and small undergo tremendous change as they labor to respond to the market, anticipate the future, and, you know, survive. It's fraught work, and when poorly done, when leaders won't acknowledge the discord or how it connects and lands, it erodes trust, it fosters skittishness, and it fuels retention problems. They ask, when is the next shoe going to drop? So how do you avoid that mixed messaging? Well, consider these proactive approaches so you're able to address the facts frankly and authentically. We've got three things. First, be at the table for all things. You can't manage what you don't know. Marcom needs to be present and involved to spot connections between disparate operational decisions that can lead to blowback. And then prepare the team to address it with clear, crisp messaging. Are other shoes about to drop? You've got to know everything that's in your closet. Secondly, avoid death by a thousand cuts. Look to your big story, your organization's mission, your vision, your values, your strategic direction. Look at each individual event and ask, how does this fit into that larger story? Otherwise, you'll be reacting to an endless parade of individual hits, keeping you off balance and making it easy for critics to paint your organization as, well, disorganized. And that's at best. And then finally, rinse and repeat your big story. Do that even, or really especially, when there's no breaking news. Talk about all the small victories happening that are part of your successful daily routine. Share your goals, your mission, your history. Highlight your people. Talk about the need for decisions, big and small, easy and hard, and how each one is part of the big picture. That way, when dissonant events do happen, people will understand, oh, this is one of those things. I don't like it, but I understand it. Like so many things we discuss with you in our weekly notes, being the chief advocate for the story of your organization is hard when difficult operational decisions don't align with the narrative you want to tell. It is, however, fundamental to your very hard work as you lead your teams in a relentlessly challenging environment. One more thing. It's a last note, but certainly not a last thought. It's a continuing one. We're closing in on the conclusion of what's been a difficult year for just about everyone providing care. Next year is not signaling good times either. But here you are, still at it, thinking about 2023 and what needs to happen next and how you'll take care of your organization and your team through it all. It's how you make healthcare better, and for all of that, we here at Gerard Inc., thank you. We'll be there too. We're right by your side, and maybe we can avoid the whiplash together. (laughs) 